Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the first ever Realwear Summit. The word or the name of our company represents uh, what we're celebrating today. So real is our first pillar at Realware, and it's a pillar of authenticity. It's a pillar of doing what we say we're going to do. A promise made by a Realware employee is a promise that you can set your watch to. And that is fundamental to our culture. It's not vaporware, it's Realware. So what we've done over the last year, almost a year now, is we focused on the product. We are a wearable, E-A-R, wearable computing company at our core. We are focused on delivering mobile technology that does not require the use of hands. But all of our products beyond HMT1 and HMT1 Zone 1 and then beyond that into HMT2 will be focused on freeing hands for enterprise and industrial workers across many, many verticals. This idea that we have a new industrial revolution, I think that's a misnomer. This isn't the industrial revolution, this is, folks, the information revolution. And we're at the end of the beginning of the information revolution, and that information revolution is what will power the productivity of the world as we know it. And you're going to see an exponential rise in the way that this information age will affect every single solitary one of us, both at work and at home. But it's not the internet of things that is going to give us $2.5 trillion in savings. It's the productivity of those things. It's increasing our efficiencies and how we produce better work, do maintenance more on time, prevent downtime, so on and so on. It's a big problem that all of us as ecosystem partners, software, end user, everyone should be thinking about that last, let's call it six inches, the last six inches to deliver the promise of the Internet of Things, which is the productivity of those things. On the left-hand side, we have our fully rugged HMT-1. On the right side, we have the HMT-Z1. That is a intrinsically safe ATEX Zone 1 Division 1 certified product. The Realware HMT-1 system is to work in harmony with on-the-edge computing. It's to enable the Internet of Things cloud infrastructure, and it's to deliver on the promise of the productivity of things. There's this foundational class of people in our country that has been sort of ignored or disappeared. There are invisible middle class, some people say. After World War II, to go out and be a sheet metal worker or an electrician in the field was something that people took a lot of pride in. They went home and said, hey, I'm training with the unions to go off and deliver this or deliver that or to work on this and build our cities, build our infrastructure and maintain that infrastructures in cities which makes our country as great as it is today. And now that same class of worker is largely ignored. If you don't go to college, you're missing out. You're a blue collar worker, as if that's some kind of an insult. And so what I think in this dawning age we need to do is we need to deliver the tools, but deliver also the spirit 
of our support and our backing and our understanding that that working class individual, that skilled worker is what makes us great as a country. I'd like to thank everybody once again. Thank my wife, thanks my kids, thanks uh, my team, my, my extended family, my new family. Uh, I look forward to meeting each and every one of you, having a beer before too much longer. So I'll just shut up now because I think I've gone over. And I'll turn it back over to my dear friend Chris Agos and he'll take us into the next part of the show. So thank you.